Hello, um, I'm George from Alliance. We're going to talk today about sensors in your pump. When you are pumping, the oil slowly is going to get to the proper temperature. Uh, 40 degrees Celsius is the sweet spot when the oil flows the better. But once it gets over 60 degrees, it starts getting hot. 80, 90 degrees is pretty bad and it will burn your oil. In our systems, we have a sensor that activates the system, the oil cooler system, when it reaches 55 degrees. It is mounted in the tank and you will recognize it because it has an angle, angle plug, a dim plug with three terminals. It's the only one like that. Uh, when you need to change one of those, please use the one without the LED. The LED will send a false ground to it, so always use the one without LED at 55 degrees Celsius. This will activate the system. You will get full flow in the hydraulic motor of the fan and the fan will start working. That's one. In all our pumps, we have this other sensor. It's also mounted in the tank. When you pull this one, you will have a uh, shrink sleeve over here and you have wires hanging from here. When you pull this one, it's just press in. You will find two terminals. The narrow one is connected to the wire Y11 and is the sensor for 90 degrees. Once the oil gets so hot that reaches 90 degrees, it will activate like another emergency e-stop and it will stop your pump. The fan will go into full blast until it cools off the oil so you won't burn your machine. The other side has a wider blade and that is connected to Y03 and that is the sender for the temperature gauge. Your thermometer in the electric panel get the signal through this wide one. Narrow one, 90 degree sensor, wide one, uh, temperature sender. Y11 wire, 90 degree sensor, Y03 wire temperature sender. In the newer units, we are using a different sender with uh, a little bit different plug, and this one only does one thing. This is your 90 degree sensor. When your oil gets so hot, it will shut down the pump. The oil cooler will go into full blast, so you won't burn your system. Around three years ago, we started installing this. It's an upgrade that we have in some of the newer pumps. All the old pumps get this three years and before. The newer pumps get both of them. If you need, if this fails, you can disconnect this one and you can use the spare 90 degree sensor because we have a secondary Y11 wire in the terminal box. So this is an emergency backup for your 90 degree sensors. And we're going to take a look inside the terminal box and when they are, uh, when they are installed. Uh, the 55 degree sensors that activate our oil cooler is usually lower within the tank and it will be on the right hand side or in between the riggers. It's a screw in. When you need to change that one because of the weight of the oil, what I do is usually I connect in the air lines for the draining of the air in the tank, I connect a vacuum, activate the vacuum, and then I can pull this one without pulling all the oil and put the new one in place. Always are going to be identified by the particular plug for the 55 degrees. This is the old style 90 degree sensor and temperature sensor. It's long you will be able to see how much it sticks out of there. In the, old, in the older pumps, uh, more or less four or five years ago, we only have this one, we don't have the second sensor that is only 90 degrees. In the old pumps, you will have two wires going in active. One for temperature, the white terminal, and one for the 90 degree sensor, the narrow terminal. In the newer pumps, four or five years ago to now, we have a, a third, sensor this one is only a 90 degree sensor and the only thing it does is when your oil is hot it will shut down the pump activate the fan because once you got no power the fan will go into full flow and once the system is cold enough 
the e-stop could be clear. Honk the horn and start pumping again. So 90 degree sensor, temperature sender, and now in the new pumps, back up for the 90 degree sensor. If the sensor fails, disconnect this one, and we are going to show you how to connect the backup uh, sender for the 90 degree we have over here. In the right hand side, the uh, passenger side, you're going to find the terminal box. All those wires we've been talking about, Y11 and, and so on, you can identify them here. Y11 will be your 90 degree sensor. And the way you identify is Y11 will be here. This is your sensor. This is where the sensor connects. We have a spare wire connected within the system Y11 so if in the newer system your sensor fail you disconnect Y11 so put something inside this one this will open the little jaw pull the wire and connect this one instead so the old style sender will work now and the one that has failed can be bypassed until you have time to order the part and change it thank you